In America, obesity is a problem that many people deal with, but in North Korea, it is a problem that very few face. Ordinary North Koreans are increasingly worried about finding food in the wake of sweeping sanctions and restrictions on the flow of goods across the China border. A cut in supplies has a lot of people worried about a second arduous march, the official North Korean name for a disastrous famine that killed millions in the 1990s. An anonymous source in the North Hemong province who told RFA said a recession hit the country's gray markets in February, and embargoes are being enforced ahead of international sanctions. Production distribution has come to a near standstill in the border of the Chongjin, where gray markets have flourished for years. Another source said that prices have not only risen, but soldiers who often benefit from the markets through bribery are also taking what remains of the food supply, leaving nothing for civilians to buy. Increased restrictions on trade with China, which has served as a critical lifeline for North Korea, are angering many North Koreans. More people are blaming the Pyongyang regime for the sanctions, sources say, and they are worried that the UN sanctions resolution adopted last Wednesday will add to their hardships. During the famine in the 1990s, China supplied goods and people managed to endure. But the current block on Chinese goods is making people very nervous.